everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my personal jewelry collection. So I got a lot of questions I see on my YouTube and my Instagram about my jewelry all the time. I thought it was kind of funny because I don't have that crazy of an extensive or expansive I don't know which word that is. Uh, jewelry collection, I tend to wear a lot of the same things over and over again. Everything that I'm going to be showing you is in here. It's not organized or anything like that, but everything is in here. So I guess I'll just start with what I'm wearing right now, which is sort of my go-to. I have on these hoops right here, which I actually got from Amazon. <laughs> they are fake gold. A lot of my jewelry is costume and fake gold because for a long time I had, you know, nicer jewelry when I trusted myself. Um, but a lot of times when I go to work, I have to take off all of my jewelry because I need to put on other clothes and other jewelry and all of that. And I would always leave my jewelry behind. And I've lost so many great things because I just forget it or lose it. I am forgetful and it's horrible. And I was like, Emily, this is why we cannot have nice things because you lose everything. And then on my neck, I wear this necklace almost every single day. So you can see here, this is a very, very thin, almost choker style necklace. I actually got this from Catbird. This is real gold. Um, Catbird is really great though. I get a lot of my jewelry there, a lot of my rings and stuff. And then this necklace that I wear a lot, it is actually by Finn Jewelry. Her name is Candace Poole and she is actually married to Casey Neinstadt. I made this necklace for me custom. So if you can't tell, it has two little fish on there because I am a Pisces. I don't know if you guys remember that. And then on the back, it has my birthday engraved. And I I just love this one because it's a really nice, sturdy, solid gold pendant. It's really shiny. I get compliments on it all the time and I just love it. I do tend to gravitate towards gold pieces, but I'll show you some of my other stuff. So another piece of jewelry that I tend to wear every single day is obviously my wedding ring. So here's my wedding ring. It is a gold, no, it is not gold. It is a diamond band. Um, it is from Marissa Perry, which is here in New York. And then I often also wear my, obviously my engagement ring. Before Kyle and I got engaged, I kind of knew exactly what kind of engagement ring I wanted. And I just put a folder on my laptop desktop. And I told Kyle, I was like, you know, when the time comes, there's a folder right here with the types of rings that I would like when we, when we get engaged. And if you want to find it one day, you know, you know where to find it's right there not subtle at all so Kyle and I were very transparent and I think straightforward in the sense that we knew that we wanted to be partners and I knew that we were going to get married so I was like listen up there's the folder the pictures are in there <laughs> this wasn't the day we actually got engaged but this was when I knew we were going to get engaged and we went to brunch and he was like I have a surprise for you and I was like okay cool I think I was in a very grumpy mood that day and then we pulled up to Tiffany's and he was like I want you to try on rings and see which ones you like and get your ring size and like so you can see what you like and then I knew that the engagement was coming but I really liked that we went together and we drank champagne and it was just such a New York moment. And then later on, he actually proposed with this ring. That actually felt more like our engagement, weirdly to me, than our actual engagement when Kyle asked me to marry him. So these are these two, which I wear every day almost, which I really like, obviously, and they mean a lot to me. So you guys know that I love hoop earrings. I wear them almost every single day and I literally have them in almost every single size. I have them this big, this is humongous i actually wore these to a studio 54 party recently i'll put that photo here um and they were perfect for a 70s vibe i haven't worn them since and i have them going all the way down until a miniature size so these ones i actually got the giant ones are from who what where these ones are again they're amazon so they are the same brand and same clasp and everything as these earrings and i have them in multiple sizes just depending on how i'm wearing my hair that day and my outfit sometimes i just like to wear different sizes these are kind of cool i recently got these from revolve and they have like a very cool texture to them they're kind of bamboo they're definitely a lot bigger. They're more of a statement for sure. I, so I feel like I would wear a bigger hoop like this with my hair pulled back, usually in a center part. I love big hoop earrings. I feel like jewelry is such a great way to kind of express yourself and express personal style. So a big earring like this is definitely saying something different, but I really like them and I think they're really cool and I think they were only like $40. So I'll try to find them and link them below. Another really cute pair of earrings 
things that I wear a lot in my Instagram and I've definitely worn them in a lot of my videos are these little tiny gold ones. So it's funny, my best friend Christina actually bought these for me because she knew that I literally always wore jewelry from Amazon. And so she, <laughs> she was like, Emily, you deserve the best because I love you. So she got me these real gold hoops, which she knew that I would love so much. I don't know if you can see them, but they're really simple. What I love about a hoop like this is you can really wear it every single day. I feel like I even would wear these to the gym or in a more casual outfit. Like they're really, really cute and they go with everything. I also have just one really simple pair of silver hoops. I don't know if you can see these, but they have a slight texture to them. I think I got these at Nordstrom Rack and they are very, very simple as well. I'll put them on really quickly so you can check them out. So those are very simple, very easy, and a really nice staple to also have in a collection. Okay, so I'm still on earrings because <laughs> I have so many. <laughs> okay, another, but this pair I really like and it's really cool. So I actually got these when I shot the Brandon Maxwell campaign a couple of seasons ago. The collection will be modeled by Emily DiDonato. They have like little bees on them, you can't tell. But I really like these because they give me kind of a vintage feel. They're really cool and they're really cute. I really, really like them. I don't know if Brandon actually sells these, but I wear them all the time. Like with a really cute summer dress, I feel like they just kind of elevate it a little bit, which I really like. Another piece of jewelry that I wear really, really often is actually this necklace right here. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is actually an airplane. I got this from my husband Kyle because we met on a flight to Colorado. So this little pendant is from Helen Ficalora. I'll link it below. And she has a ton of really great charms and stuff like that. I'm so happy that I haven't ever lost this yet, but I wear it all the time. This is definitely an everyday piece for me. It's just really meaningful and Kyle gave it to me. And you know, I also travel all the time and that's why when people see this, they think that's why. Okay, so I just put another necklace on that I wear a lot. So this necklace right here, ignore that one. That's the catbird one we were talking about earlier. This one has an arrow that goes down to this little tiny heart right here, which is super cute. It's really delicate and it's definitely sexy because it kind of like goes down into your cleavage. I will find out who the designer of this one was, but I wear this one a lot. Really cute and really simple. And that little sexy touch that it kind of like gets hidden in your tank top or kind of hidden in whatever dress you're wearing. I think that's a really simple and subtle kind of sexy way to wear jewelry, which I really like. So now that we've kind of talked about necklaces, we can move on to more rings. So I have so many rings. You cannot see them here, but all of these rings are from Catbird again. This isn't sponsored by Catbird. I just went through a phase where I bought every, literally every single ring that they create. Um, what I really like about these is that you can stack them. So a few details on these rings, a lot of them are just really, really simple and they stack, but this one has a little moon on there. And then this one has a little, little tiny E there. I don't know if you can see that but I really like all of those like tiny, tiny details that you can kind of bring into personal jewelry. Another thing that Catbird does, and I'm sure other brands do this, but they make like midi ring, like knuckle rings. So these kind of go halfway down your finger, as you can see, they kind of have a lot of rings stacked up here because they're all so thin and kind of delicate and the details are very, very minor and small. I think it's a really cool way to, to make your jewelry kind of a little bit more personal and it's really delicate and really simple and pretty. And it brings like personality to an outfit, which I think is really cool. I feel like jewelry is a really cool way to express yourself and it's a really cool way to kind of play with your personal style, which is what I really love about jewelry. I will try to link everything that I talked about here in this video below. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I am going to potentially try to do more fashion content on here. If you want to see any types of fashion content, comment below, but thank you guys for watching. Thanks for being here and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.